But uh, we do have to talk about uh, another person. It's, it's sorry, it's someone who I kind of indelibly linked with. I, you've told me before on air that it, it is your best friend. We do have to um, remember and pay tribute to the hard work that Sarah Watts put in in all this time. <laughs> It was, I think Beth read out the, the, the kind of the, the a grief that she gave Bellotti in the Walsall car park. Well, but it wasn't, I mean, they read it as if he, she just said it. She shrieked it. <laughs> and the police were so frightened that they actually removed all of us from the car park because they thought we were going to physically attack um, Bellotti and his wife. So what words were used? Can you repeat them? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> well, I could, but I can't do them justice. Oh, OK. But do tell us about Sarah. Well, she, like me, was a sort of uh, quiet football fan. There are some. Um, but, you know, when you get to a point when you're totally incensed with what's going on around you, something flips. And if you've got a, sort of somebody to do it with, it makes it a heck of a lot easier. You can't do it on your own. But with a group of people, and uh, us two ladies um, somehow managed to click very, very quickly and uh, misbehaved a lot. Well, Sarah was very, very mischievous, let's face it. Oh, yeah. But she wasn't to begin with. What Mis turned her mischievous? <sighs> Probably me, I don't know. <laughs>